All right, girls, welcome into today's yoga fusion. It's going to be a little bit more advanced than our last yoga fusion with each other, which is going to be great because I know you can handle it because you've been staying consistent. So this is gonna be awesome. Um, this one again, uh, what yoga infusion is all about is uh, developing more strength and more flexibility at the same freaking time. So grab your long band for this one. It's going to be great for adding a little bit more resistance, therefore getting you faster results. The first one we're going to start off with is a chair pose. So if you've ever done a chair pose in yoga, essentially your toes are kind of coming more together and your heels are a little bit more out and you're going to be bringing your knees together as you're going to sit it back into an imaginary chair behind you. Now a common mistake I see is people just bring it all the way down. They bring their knees over those toes, right? So just sit it back and then you're in that perfect alignment. And if you actually need a chair to kind of sit back behind you, that would be absolutely okay for a modification. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place the long band underneath our feet and then we're gonna go into a bicep curl with that chair, so just hold it into your hands. So we're gonna reach our hands up overhead, going into our chair position, having a nice, good, straight, long back. And again, we're warming up, so you don't wanna go too crazy low, just start off nice and small, and then you're gonna stand up and get a nice, good little bicep curl. Awesome, here we go again. Good. It's all about really slow control movements. You're gonna to wanna to really feel the muscles being used. I love resistance bands when you're going slow because you get amazing results in the concentric and the eccentric motion, basically the positive and the negative of the pull and release. And this is such a great full body movement here, allowing your upper body and your lower body to flow and burn a lot of calories here. And as we go, you just wanna start exaggerating the motions. So if you can start to sit a little bit lower, even if you wanna make that uh, curl a little bit harder, what you're gonna do is just start to inch your hands a little bit lower on the band and therefore making it harder to pull. Good, let's last one here. Amazing job. Next one, we're gonna go into a lunge. So just keeping the band wrapped around one foot and then still holding it into your hands. We're gonna go into just a forward lunge where you're just reaching in, reaching over to that top leg, feeling a nice good stretch through that front of the leg. You're gonna drop into that lunge, you're gonna lift, and then you're gonna go into a back row. So again, just drop and squeeze. Very slow, listen to your body. If you need to hold on for balance, that's fine. Beautiful. Now I'm really gonna challenge that booty. So if you're feeling that booty because you're pressing that heel into the ground like you should, now we're gonna go into warrior three. So still holding on to that resistance band on that leg. And you're just gonna bring the other leg up and behind. From here, you're just going to do your rows, squeezing it back behind. Good, keeping that standing leg slightly bent, you're gonna be feeling it shaking. You're also going to be feeling it burning. That's because all your stability muscles are working. Whew. All right, shake it out. You're still gonna stay on that same leg, so keep that resistance band there. Now you're gonna take the band and you're gonna bring it up overhead 
and across onto those shoulders. And this one we're gonna go into our warrior with a side lunge here. So I'm just kind of placing it on one shoulder, whatever feels best for you. We're going to pivot that back foot so that way it's kind of a little bit of a diagonal and the front leg has got a straight line pointing in front of us. We're gonna drop into that lunge. You wanna make sure you have a nice, good, wide enough space between your legs so that when you're bending that front knee, it's not going over your toes. You're gonna lunge, reaching those arms out in front of you. Nice, big, deep breath. As you exhale, you're going to straighten that front leg and bend and look up. Good, same thing here. Drop and extend. Starting off kind of small, and then allowing any exaggerating motions, any creativity that you want. Just flow. Great. Hold it here. Now we're just going to reverse that, bringing it down the other direction, lengthening out that leg, bending the leg, and coming back up. Again, drop it down, straighten the leg, bend the leg, back up. Good. Make sure you're breathing through this. You're doing amazing. Just keep telling yourself you're getting stronger and more flexible with every rep. Beautiful, then release, let it come down, kind of do a little movements, whatever feels good. Allow your body just to wiggle and shake there for a moment as now we go on to our other side. Okay, putting it in the opposite foot now. All right, so we're gonna go into that lunge with that row. Drop it down, up and squeeze. challenge yourself let's go into that warrior three that airplane oh my goodness bringing that back leg up again hold on to a chair or a wall for balance if you need to good find it and now row Definitely shaking on that lower leg. Okay, now let's go ahead and take it into that warrior, so bringing it up overhead. Awesome, dropping it down. Breathe and extend. Beautiful, hold it here, shift your weight over, drop it down, extend that leg, drop the leg, and go back.
when you're ready, bring it down, shake anything out. Wiggle, wiggle, shake, shake. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Awesome, you guys, so proud of you. That was really hard today. Definitely those uh, are a lot more challenging than just typical movements where you're just going fast and going at speed and using momentum. You're really using strength there. And how awesome to get more flexible at the same time. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great, and your new transformation can start today.